like a lot of people, I've been keeping my eye on bird flu because we just did this pandemic thing and I think a lot of people are freaked out that we're gonna do COVID again, but I don't think that's going to be the case. This bird flu thing is not even new. We've actually been documenting human cases of bird flu since like 1996 or 1997. Unfortunately, the reason that we're concerned about bird flu is that the case fatality rate dating back to, you know, starting with those patients in the 90s is like in the 50% range, like 51 to 56%, depending on the source that you look at. As the name indicates, bird flu comes from birds. It's actually one of the reasons that our eggs are so expensive right now, but we have seen it mutate and be able to jump species. Uh, we've seen dairy cows um, that have become infected and will. Um, we've seen virus in the dairy cow milk. We've also seen human cases and cases in cats. I have some friends who are veterinarians and they actually said that the cases in cats, the symptoms they're having are very neurologic. Um, some of the cases look somewhat like rabies which is interesting, but uh, also I don't like it. The cat cases that have been documented seem to be coming from cats eating raw milk or raw food that has bird flu virus in it. Most of the human cases here in the United States have been uh, linked to farm workers. Um, most of them have either worked on a dairy farm or a poultry farm. And the most common symptom that they're having right now is conjunctivitis. They're not having a lot of respiratory type symptoms. There are two recent cases that are a little bit more concerning. One is a person that was in Louisiana. They were over 65 years old, had one medical problem, and they ended up, ended up passing away from uh, avian influenza. There was also a 13-year-old in Canada, I believe it was British Columbia, um, who had severe disease, was in the ICU. I heard ECMO, but I couldn't confirm it. Um, they ended up surviving and recovering, but again, they also had severe disease and possibly one underlying medical problem. While both of those patients were sick, they actually documented that the virus mutated within their body to be more easily able to infect lung cells, which is a problem because uh, respiratory illnesses are much more easy to spread. As we know, regular flu is a respiratory illness and it spreads fairly easily with coughing and things like that. This virus has already shown that it can jump species and that it can cause severe disease. And so if it does get to the point where we see human to human spread, which it likely will, in the next maybe year or two, um, we could be in for some, uh, it's, it's gonna be pretty bad. Um, there will likely be a lot more people that die from that than we would see in a regular flu season. But there is some evidence uh, that the, um, so it's H5N1 is avian flu, but H1N1, either if you've been vaccinated or if you've been sick with that in the past, that there may be some cross protection. Um, maybe minimal, but it may be enough to help out. So. Um, we will see. There's a lot that we don't know right now about this. Um, it's not time to freak out. It is time to just be really cautious, especially if you're around wild animals. If an animal is sick or dying, don't touch them. Don't interact with them. And just be really careful. If you are sick, stay home, wash your hands. And if you are someone who works on a farm uh, or around animals and you get sick, uh, make sure that you tell your provider that because that may be something we want to test you for specifically.